Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Pediatrics by Dr. Anand. Uh, if my voice is audible to everyone, please put a message in the comment section. Thank you. Today we're going to talk about the important questions and we're going to talk about the neonatology per se topic. We're going to start the session in two to three minutes. Thank you. Thank you so much. In this segment, we're going to talk about the very important neonatology. Okay. So it's 8.42 and uh, yes, we're going to start the session. Hello, hello everyone. Hello Ashwin. Hello Dhananjay. Hello Ashwin. And uh, thank you so much for coming. Today we're going to talk about the neonatology chapter. Welcome to Pediatrics by Dr. Anand. And uh, as you all know that uh, I have start, I have joined the Anand Academy and now from A to Z, we're going to study pediatrics wonderfully in a very, very beautiful way where we're going to cover everything possible from starting from neonatology to growth and development, all the important topics. If my voice is audible and my face is visible, please put a message in the comment section. Thank you. Hello, Hamid. Hello, Ashwin. Hello, the budding FMG. Is my voice audible to everyone? Please let me know. Okay, we're going to start the session in one minute. I'll be asking you a lot of questions also. And uh, at the same time, I will be sharing important images, videos. Like we're going to start the whole pediatrics proper and uh, it'll be it'll be amazing. Hello. Hello, Mukesh. Hello, uh, Kalita. Hello, the budding FMG. Hello, Hamid. So we're going to start the session in one more minute. 845 was the timing. It's 843. Within one minute, we're going to start the session. I hope you all are studying. How are you, everyone? Kesa chal raha sab kuch? Exam is coming. Few months left. Everything done? Or you're going to start now? So what's happening? Please let me know. Hamid, how's your studies going? How's everything going? Is um, like you are you able to cover the MCQs? Everyone, guys, are you doing the MCQs? We need to do all the various grand tests and MCQs, right? Hello, Hamid. Hello, uh, Jeshi. Hello, Mukesh Yadav. Hello, again, Ashwin. And then we have Dhananjay Sharma. So, in this segment, today's segment, we're gonna talk about the neonatology chapter. Bohat achhe se padenge, wonderfully we're gonna study and every single line, every single topic I'll be explaining you in a very simple way. Just be with me and try your best to participate and everything, everything will be fine. And I'll be asking you a lot of questions also. So please try to, you know, uh, prepare, try to uh, answer whatever question I ask you. Don't worry if it is wrong or right, doesn't matter. Wrong and right really doesn't matter. Only matters is your participation. I want you guys to participate as much as possible. Hello, hello. Yes, you're preparing for, uh, okay, next 2023. Okay, that's amazing. I mean, if you're starting now, it's perfect. So it's 8.45. Let's start. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Pediatrics by Dr. Anand. And this is an academy platform. We're going to talk about the uh, neonatology chapter. The first chapter of our beautiful, beautiful uh, pediatrics is neonatology. And of course, before starting the chapter, you know about me for the newcomers. My name is Dr. Anand Bhatia. I am MD Pediatrics. I have done my graduation from Bangalore and I have done my SR ship, my pediatrics uh, from uh, Tirthankar Mahavi University, Muradabad, UP. And I did my SR ship also from Lady Harding Medical College, Hindu Rao Medical College. And I have been teaching from quite a long time. That's all I can say. So in the uh, an academy uh, in general, I would like to tell you that we have the plus subscription and we have the iconic subscription in the plus subscription. You all guys know that that we have wonderful live and recorded sessions of mine and all the amazing faculties. And then we have, of course, every amazing educator we have got on the an academy and it's gonna be amazing. That's it. Hello, hello, Rakesh, Shivani, Sahil, Vani, Hamid. Hello, hello, everyone. Very good to see you. And of course, at the same time, in the subscription, we have the live quizzes, live test. You can watch me on on you know iOS, Android, laptop, wherever you want. I am now much more closer to all of you. And we have unlimited access to the MCQs, right? In the iconic subscription at the same time, you know that with the Unacademy, you're getting the prep ladder subscription also. So all the wonderful faculties of prep ladder, wonderful preparations, clinical questions, everything all together under one umbrella. 
that's all we are going to get it is as simple as that if you want to buy it you know that already that you when uh, if a newcomer opens the app we have the plus subscription an iconic uh, one and you can choose your month accordingly and you can do it and for the newcomers you can use this discount also if you want to avail a 10 percent off otherwise no problem next uh, one more thing i would like to tell you before starting hello datta hello rakesh hello uh, shivani sahil hamad and we have priya and lukanshu hello hello everyone i'm, I'm also very happy to see you okay so uh, in the an academy uh, my friends you all know that we have this neat pg compact we have this um, uh kind of a quiz uh gonna happen on november 28th at 5 pm okay this week 45 questions 45 questions you have to answer on november 28th 5 pm and it's free of course and we have this 100 percent scholarship we have on the plus subscription and what all benefits you'll get like if you participate in this one on november 28th at 5 pm if you participate and if you you know top 100 rankers basically get a surprise so what is the surprise you're gonna get for the for this quiz most importantly you know it's a free scholarship test it's a free scholarship test basically a pool of around one crore one cr one cr pool you know you can get so i think it's it's fair enough to participate i mean in general it'll be easy for uh, you to you know get good marks uh, at the same time and also very importantly that's what win a scholarship pool of one cr need pg compact next test 28th november 5 pm just put in your uh, what you called uh, in your mobile 28 number 5 pm just very simple questions are there just 45 questions in 60 minutes 45 questions in 60 minutes i think we all can participate it's not that a big deal and at the same time you get a scholarship pool of one cr it will be easy i think it's gonna be fun i mean if you want you can participate right now start the journey the first video ever on an academy on youtube basically uh pediatrics and uh, the first question i have for everyone let me ask you now one by one okay so pediatrics the first thing we need to know what is the greek meaning of pediatrics can anyone tell me what is the meaning of pedia and what is the meaning of eatrics so rakesh shivani uh this uh, jeshi sahil Hamid, what do you think? Anyone, what is the meaning of pedia? What is pedia? What is eatrix? Anyone? Yes, very good. Very good. Shivani has come with a very wonderful answer. Pedia means child and eatrix means healer. Okay. Pedia means child and eatrix means healer. Child healer is the Greek meaning of pediatrix. Greek meaning. Okay. In this segment, I want you all to participate. Galat chalega, if you answer wrong, right, doesn't matter. Participation is the key. Participation is the key. Okay. And you know, there was a saying, you know, like uh, they were saying, you know, it was, it, I had read it somewhere. Take risks in life. Take risks in your life. If you win, you can lead. If you lose, you can guide. I mean, see, it's so beautifully self-explanatory. Take risks in your life. It's okay to do mistakes. Galti karo chalega. But do mistakes. If you win, you can lead. If you lose, you can guide. Don't you don't you agree with me? And it's so simple, it's so beautifully self-explanatory. So if you win, you can lead. If you lose, you can guide. And that's here we all are for to guide each other. Okay. So most importantly, chapter neonatology, the first beautiful video which we have of a happy, happy, happy newborn baby. That is how in our nursery, you know, we have this very beautiful newborns in our, uh, our nursery. And that is why I'm so happy taking pediatrics. I'm like, I'm living my dream every time. So neonate, coming to the first question for exam, what is a neonate? Can anyone tell me a rough idea? If a newborn baby has born in the labor room and I have have a newborn in my hand or newborn in this video what is a neonatal period like for how many days i should say that this baby is a neonate baby neonatal period baby so yes datta is very right 0 to 28 days of life 0 to 28 days of life is nothing but a nothing but a neonatal period this neonatal period is divided into early neonate and divided into late neonate early neonate or you can say early neonatal period 
and then we have the late new unit late new unit can anyone tell me what is early new unit any random guesses jeshi ak kumar datta shivani hamid ashwin anyone very good so 0 to 7 days of life 0 to 7 days of life the beginning 7 days of life that baby is known as a early neonate or early neonatal period then the next 7 to 28 days of life the 7 to 28 days of life that baby is known as a late neonatal period are you understanding with me are you with me guys yes or no so three questions we have already covered question number one what is a neonatal period the 28 days of life baby is known as a the whole thing is known as a neonate or a neonate period question number two what is a early neonate the answer is beginning seven days of life shuru ke saath din ka bacha that is known as early neonate and third question we have already covered what is a late neonate from seventh day onwards till 28 days of life that is known as a late neonatal period i hope this much you have understood if you anyone has not understood you can tell me i can repeat okay and every please remember my friends in every slide if i put a star mark if I put a star mark, that means it has been a recent question. So early neonatal period or what is early neonate has been a recent question. So you have to put a star mark in your notes. Okay. Are you understanding? Are you with me? Are, am I making sense to you? Yes or no? Very good. Okay. Coming further, after the late neonatal period, like till 28 days to ho gaya, that is a neonate. Can anyone help me out and tell me, like for example, you know, a baby who is what you called, uh, like after 29 days, like for example, 29 days old baby or a 30 days old baby, 32 days old baby. What do you call that baby? Anyone? Will you call that baby a neonate only? Or do you want to call that baby something else? Any, any random guesses? Yes. Very good. Very good. Beautiful answer very good shivani datta so, so tw after 28 days till one year 28 days till one year that baby is known as anyone yes that baby is known as infant henna that baby is known as infant okay let's finish the whole pediatrics that baby till one year is known as an infant after that there is something known as toddler there is something known as toddler can anyone give a random guess what is a toddler any random guesses what is a toddler naam suna hai apne toddler kya hota hai very good one to three years of life one to three years of life baby is known as a toddler see whatever i'm telling you right now right now we'll we'll learn here only and finish it off no you know no revision business that tomorrow again i will revise or tonight i will revise right now speak with me talk with me finish the syllabus at least these in this 30 to 40 minutes of segment i'm going to cover very important 15 <coughs> 15 mcqs and then that's it so one to three year of life is nothing but a toddler and then we have something known as preschool and school preschool and school going age period what is preschool age period three year to six year three year to six year is a preschool age going period and six to twelve years is nothing but a school going school going school going age period okay very good shivani ashwini Sh uh, shivani again roll number 117 that's the whole name is that kumar that's a very good very good perfect answer so preschool is three to six year of age and school going period is six to twelve years of age again i'm putting a star mark over here two places so toddler and pre school has been a recent question toddler and preschool has been a recent question that you should know i hope you're able to understand we have covered around six to seven mcqs right now back to back okay after this there is something known as adolescent period after this there is something known as adolescent period can anyone tell me what is adolescent period when does it start and when does it finish any random guesses what do you think what is adolescent period anyone ashwini uh, shivani datta ak kumar okay anyone what is the adolescent period any random guesses so adolescent period very good so ak datta a datta has told a perfect answer uh, adolescent period so 10 to 13 years of life 10 to 13 years of life is a very important early adolescent period please remember adolescent period starts from 10 year of life it goes till 20 years of life 
एडोलेसेंट पीरियड स्टार्ट फ्रॉम टेन ईयर्स ऑफ लाइफ इट गोज टिल ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ऑफ लाइफ प्लीज रिमेंबर ए के कुमार जयशी बिफोर दैट बिफोर द प्रीवियस अपडेट्स द एडोलेसेंट पीरियड वॉज टेन टू नाइनटीन ईयर्स ऑफ लाइफ बट नाउ ओ पी गई नाइन्थ एडिशन हैज सेज एडोलेसेंट पीरियड इज फ्रॉम टेन टू ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ऑफ लाइफ अकॉर्डिंग टू लेटेस्ट ओ पी गई नाइन्थ एडिशन एडोलेसेंट पीरियड इज फ्रॉम टेन टू ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ऑफ लाइफ एडोलेसेंट पीरियड इज डिवाइडेड इन टू अर्ली एडोलेसेंट मिडल एडोलेसेंट एंड लेट एडोलेसेंट पीरियड अर्ली एडोलेसेंट मिडल एडोलेसेंट एंड लेट एडोलेसेंट पीरियड ओके दिस सेशन विल बी दिस इज अ वेरी शॉर्ट एंड स्वीट सेशन फॉर थर्टी टू फोर्टी मिनट्स फिफ्टीन मिनट्स आर ऑलरेडी ओवर ट्वेंटी मिनट्स आर जस्ट लेफ्ट लेट्स फिनिश द होल दिस न्यूनिटोलॉजी द फर्स्ट पार्ट सो वेरी गुड ओके ए के कुमार प्रियंका राकेश जयशी सो येस एडोलेस टोटल एडोलेसेंट पीरियड इज फ्रॉम एनी वन टेन टू 20 year of life what is early adolescent 10 to 13 years of life is the early adolescent period what is middle adolescent period 14 to 16 year of life 14 to 16 year of life is the middle adolescent period very good very good ashwin very good datta and last but not the least 17 to 20 years of life the latest update star mark 17 to 20 years of life is a late neonatal period late neonatal period samajh mein aa raha hai aapko are you understanding with me yes or no and please put a star mark again early adolescent period early adolescent period has been a recent question it has been a recent question ठीक है आई होप यू आर एबल टू गेट इट एनी वन प्लीज पुट अ मैसेज इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन वी हैव कवर्ड सम अराउंड फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन वी हैव कवर्ड राइट नाउ आर यू एबल टू गेट इट येस और नो ओके अश्विन वेरी गुड शिवानी वेरी गुड दत्ता कुमार प्रियंका राकेश जशी परफेक्ट प्राउड ऑफ यू ओके लेट्स गो फर्दर लेट्स गो फर्दर दिस ऑल पार्ट वी हैव कवर्ड कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच इज द मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज मोस्ट common cause of neonatal mortality in india now now listen carefully again this is the first class don't cram i i am telling you no one is going to cram in my class we going to understand the concept we have to understand the concept okay what are we studying pediatrics which topic neonatology what does it mean newborn newborn we are studying newborn right and what did we cover just now we covered something known as periods of growth we cover the periods of growth which all period same neonate infant toddler preschool school and adolescent yes or no so periods of growth we covered okay now i'm asking the next question which is the most commonest cause of neonatal mortality in india in india why newborns are dying which is the most commonest cause so what do you think why babies are dying in india in general open your brains and tell me why babies are dying in india what is the cause what could be the cause anyone people who are there in the in the online so many people we have right now in the live segment anyone very good okay i am going to write it whatever you are saying okay datta says babies are dying because of malnutrition okay yeah she has a point a very good you use your brains anyone ashwini says postpartum trauma okay postpartum trauma right now i'll be writing whatever you are saying okay and you all are amazingly telling the very right answer you are very right so just you know kind of say whatever you feel priyanka ibrahim and uh, what do you call melithi balaji chola molial it's a big name so they all says my dear friends prematurity okay makes sense very nice okay and then we have datta she says babies are dying because of pneumonia also babies are dying because of respiratory tract infection also okay see so beautiful you yourself has told so many points my god very nice so now but now our mcq our exam is that most commonest cause like sir i want to clear this in this neat pg exam tell me if this question comes what is the best answer i should take the most commonest cause of newborns are dying is because of prematurity is because of prematurity or you can say complications of prematurity complications of prematurity you know sounds a better answer so in india newborns are dying because of anyone complications of prematurity that is the first exam question and please remember very good aditya very nice very good theek hai and complications see nothing cramming the more the baby is premature the more the chances of mortality are there okay and one more thing i would like to you know 
yes one more thing i would like to stress is this one uh, this has been a recent question they were asking a range in ascending order recent ini cta questions and recent exam questions they were telling a range in ascending order the most commonest cause of neonatal mortality in india the top three causes the top three causes of babies dying in india are number one of course complications of prematurity number two very important systemic infections systemic infections and number three is nothing but perinatal asphyxia perinatal asphyxia again please don't cram don't cram just you know whatever whenever i teach you something have a have a thought process in your mind you know in india babies are dying okay why they are dying uh, because the baby is premature more the baby is premature the baby is dying second infection sepsis anyone can get infection right so newborns are dying because of that third perinatal asphyxia asphyxia or in in perinatal means during the birth time or during or uh, around delivery time there is asphyxia asphyxia means in general anyone like the baby has not cried immediately after birth baby has not cried immediately after birth because of the asphyxia okay why there is asphyxia can you tell me okay again no cramming you only tell normally see no listen to me no every baby normally should cry immediately after birth okay every baby normally should cry immediately after birth if the baby has not cried immediately after birth what is the cause anyone what is the cause ibrahim paras what do you think okay why what do you think if the baby has not cried immediately after birth kya karan ho sakte hain what could be the causes of baby not crying okay very good datta is answering very nicely datta says that uh, fetal distress can happen due to maternal causes which maternal causes what baby has not cried huge problem baby not cried so why baby not cried what is what do you think can anyone tell me one or two random uh, any fast fast causes baby not cried hai na I, i hope i'm making sense i'm asking something which genuinely i'm asking a, a, a you know conceptual question right let's see if anyone has a, uh, this one shivani says baby has not cried because of seizures okay uh, someone says okay bpr says baby had not cried because of lungs have collapsed okay uh, 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 faiz ibrahim says utero placental insufficiency perinatal asphyxia polyhydramnios distress okay beautiful very nice so let's let's put it in a, another see again my job over here on this platform is to improve your memory to improve your memory memory and to make you strong like me okay strong like me so how now how can we do that right so the baby has not cried immediately after birth have you heard of cord around the neck have you heard of cord around the neck umbilical cord around the neck yes or no you know the gyne people they start jumping dr anand please come fast no labor room there is a three loops around the neck two loops around the neck so when there is cord around the neck baby can't speak the baby can, will go into asphyxia yes or no have you heard of meconium aspiration syndrome have you anyone heard this this word meconium aspiration yes or no in hindi we say no bacche ne potty jo hai maa ke pet mein kar li hai aur bacche ne wo potty le kha li hai इनहेल एज्यूम कर ली है मतलब स्वेलो कर ली है in english we say right that the, the baby has passed stool in the mummy's tummy once the baby has passed stool in the mummy's tummy he has taken the stool also and leads to distress leads to problem leads to asphyxia yes or no hai na and even again you know have you heard of pre like in general prematurity more the baby is premature more the lungs would not be formed properly yes or no normally lungs form right more the baby is premature lungs have not formed properly so baby can land up into dis- stress and again asphyxia so these are the basic causes right rakesh bpr sandhu am i making sense to you guys are you able to understand so the various causes or in general baby not cried or asphyxia could be cord around the neck could be meconium aspiration syndrome could be a prematurity hai na these are the basic causes you need to know again in this segment we all have to conceptualize and think logically no cramming business okay logical you have to think okay very good now coming to the next part again there was a very wonderful quote i uh, i read it somewhere if you cannot do great things if you cannot do great things do small things in great way if you cannot do great things for example if i cannot cover 19 subjects together if you cannot do great things 
do do small things in great way i agree that covering 19 subjects together 100% reading every subject properly it's very difficult it's it's kind of inhuman it's 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 physic uh, physically not possible you know but if you cannot do great things do small things in great way small things means small subjects finish pediatrics finish ophtha finish you know surgery or forensic medicine because the smaller subjects once you start finishing they really carry a lot of weightage in your exams okay neat exams and and you know pediatrics is like medicine it's like parallel to medicine nephrotic syndrome asthma pneumonia is there in pediatrics also is there in medicine also do you agree with me yes or no so moral of the story is if you cannot do great things do small things in great way hai na good very nice okay uh 10 minutes more left then this session is over the session was for around 30 to 40 minutes we have already covered 20 to 25 minutes and we're going to finish 10 15 more minutes then i'm going to say bye bye to you okay hmm. the next topic is <coughs> classification of neonates classification of neonates how do you <coughs> classify <coughs> neonates anyone any random guesses how do you classify neonates if this comes as a theory question in mbbs what have you written any any random guesses mirza rakesh amir shivani uh, bpr sandhu anyone datta farhaz ibrahim so many are there how do you classify neonates the first thing is we classify neonates according to the birth weight according to the birth weight i am going to teach you like i'm teaching to a 7th class student okay i am not going to use high five words i'm not going to use some major you know strange weird names i will use them but slowly slowly but i'll be i'll try my best to teach you in a very very simple format so how do you classify neonates the answer is we classify neonates according to the birth weight according to the birth weight number one there are, there are various classifications birth weight is one of them question number one for the viewers we have so many viewers we have today question number one what is the normal weight of a baby any random guesses what is the normal weight of a newborn what you do you think put our answer in the comment section beautiful okay very nice uh, what is the normal weight of a newborn that is my first question students who are participating for this answer are we have bawa ibrahim datta sandhu mirza priyanka balaji bpr jashi and so many are there so many okay let's see what is the normal weight okay the student who will tell the best answer i'll tell the person's name yes priyanka saini Priyanka Saini has told the best answer. The normal weight of a newborn is 2.5 to 4 kg. The latest guideline says the normal weight of a newborn is 2.5 to 4 kg. Okay. Some people who are answering 2.8. or 3 kg you know my hod like i same i told that answer once once a day that ma'am 2.8 is the normal weight of a newborn then my hod was shouting she was like that okay 2.9 is not normal 2.7 okay 2.7 is not normal why only 2.8 so means 2.9 is abnormal what are you trying to say so whenever i ask you the normal weight or a normal length of or a normal head circumference of a newborn always say a range always say a range don't say one number okay so 2.5 to 4 kg is the normal weight of a newborn theek hai next question if i ask you what is the average indian baby weight what is the average indian baby weight now what will you answer for this anyone what is the average indian baby weight see average indian has to be one number okay average indian baby has to be one number so what is the average indian baby weight yes very good students who are participating are mamta rawat datta sandhu shivani ibrahim <coughs> hamid priyanka okay remember one thing the the previous guidelines the previous op guide 8th edition had told the average indian baby weight was 2.8 kg okay but now the latest op guide 9th edition says the average <coughs> indian baby weight is 3 kg the average indian baby weight is 3 kg this is the latest guideline guideline that is why i have started this full new session of the neat pg series on the youtube and also on the special classes on our app so that all the latest updates in every slide in every webinar i try to cover it up 
एवरेज इंडियन बेबी वेट अकॉर्डिंग टू द लेटेस्ट गाइडलाइंस इज थ्री के जी भारत का हर बच्चा मोटा मोटा अराउंड तीन किलो का होता है अब इन इंडिया एन एवरेज इंडियन बेबी वेट इज थ्री के जी इफ आई से द नॉर्मल वेट ऑफ न्यू बॉर्न देन इट इज टू पॉइंट फाइव टू फोर के जी डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस मच प्लीज पुट आर आंसर इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन येस और नो ओके गुड परफेक्ट We have to finish this pediatrics, okay? Everyone, we have to finish it beautifully. मोती की तरह मोती की तरह पढ़ाई करेंगे और पूरी किताब हमारे मन में होनी चाहिए वी गोना फिनिश पीडियाटिक्स वंडरफुली एंड ईच एंड एवरी सिंगल वर्ड शुड बी इन साइड योर सोल नॉट इन साइड योर हार्ट नॉट इन साइड योर माइंड इन साइड योर सोल दैट मच प्रॉपरली आई विल इनकल्परेट एंड पुट इन साइड योर सोल डोंट वरी ओके दैट इज माई थिंग एंड आई डू इट okay let's move further five more minutes then the class is over okay so 2.5 to 4 kg is the normal weight of a newborn so less than 2.5 if the baby is less than 2.5 kg it is known as anyone any random guesses yes i think everyone knows this is known as low birth weight okay please remember there is something known as low birth weight something known as very low birth weight and something known as extremely extremely low birth weight very good sandu see remember we have something known as low birth weight <coughs> something known as very low birth weight <coughs> and something known as extremely low birth weight if the baby is less than 2.5 kg that is known as low birth weight If the baby is less than one point five kg, <coughs> that baby is known as very low birth weight. And baby who is less than one kg, the baby who is less than one kg is known as extremely low birth weight. These are the very important. Yeah, very good, very good. Shivani is right. Datta is right. Uh, Kalita is right. Balaji, Rakesh, Ibrahim. Very good. Okay. And please. I'll put a whatever I'll put a star mark has been a recent question. So extremely low birth weight star mark. Please in your notes. Now <coughs> your pediatrics is my headache. I'll make you teach properly. Please have a copy and a pen and multiple beautiful colors pen. This is the first class of an academy like on YouTube special classes. I just now took so many. I've already taken. So <coughs> in your notebook <coughs> write. Uh, pediatrics by dr anand and start writing the notes whatever i am teaching you any doubt you have any time you are free to put in the comment section come to the app wherever you want okay done so extremely low birth weight is over this is the one classification five more minutes and the class is over the second classification see the classification of new units number one it is based on the birth weight that we have already done the second classification let's touch the second classification the second classification nothing is based on the gestational age is based on the gestational age in that one we have something known as preterm term and post term we have something known as preterm baby term baby and post term baby so what is a what is a term pregnancy now again i have a question to everyone what is a term pregnancy now who will answer this question in any random guesses sandhu datta jayshi amir rakesh ibrahim mirza what is a term pregnancy like what to what we see this is a interactive session okay it's not that i'll be only teaching and you'll be only writing no try to participate no try to pass to participate zyada se zyada kya hoga galti hi hogi max to max what will happen you will say a wrong answer right you will do a mistakes but you have you have you have heard that saying right mistakes are proof mistakes are proof that you are trying mistakes are proof that you are trying and student i'm telling you whosoever tries to answer in the classes that only student has the 99% chances of passing the neat pg exam so do you really want to pass the exam or you just want to watch me and just finish it off you want to pass right you want to get good marks right top or rank 1 right then answer okay answer then yes very good so we have mirza yeah very good uh, bawa jayshi yeah very good so the term pregnancy according to the latest guidelines 37 to 41 completed weeks is known as a term pregnancy 
37 to 41 completed weeks is known as a term pregnancy less than 37 weaker baby less than 37 weeks baby is known as a preterm and more than 42 weeks baby is known as a post term baby will you remember this yes or no and please remember preterm what is a preterm uh, thing that has already been a question less than 37 weeker is a preterm 37 to 41 completed weeks is a term baby and more than 42 weeker is a post term post term baby did you understand this much yes or no please put an answer thank you okay <coughs> very good very good okay very good amir okay so three more minutes i'm gonna finish the session today's session part one now so classification of neonates was based on the birth weight which we covered in the previous slide the birth weight classification like 2.5 to 4 kg is the normal weight and then we did something known as low birth weight very low birth weight and extremely low birth weight in the second classification we did something based on the gestational age where we covered something known as term pregnancy <laughs> preterm pregnancy and a post term baby last classification last classification it's written over here last classification is a combination of the gestational age and birth weight see one was gestational age one was birth weight now this classification is based on both gestational age and birth weight together how sir how sir okay see this now i'll put a chart on one side i told you right this classification is based on the gestational age and birth weight okay this classification the third classification because why are we studying this sir why are we studying this because we have questions here we have questions in this we only gonna study which is high yield and very very important and we have a question in this that's why we are studying this okay yes so this classification is based on the gestational age and birth weight together gestational age means 30 like like i'm writing gestational age for example 34 weeks 35 weeks 36 37 38 this is the gestational age next comes the birth weight in this segment this graph is the birth weight example 500 grams baby 1 kg baby 1.5 kg and 2 kg are you understanding i put a plot a graph in if in the next one minute if you you know understand this you're gonna cover some amazing questions i'm telling you okay we have pj who's answering sir which chart is used wh or iop no dear the cdc growth charts and iap growth charts are different this is something known as intrauterine growth charts right now i'm telling you intrauterine growth charts intra you this is what i'm teaching right now is an intra uterine growth chart okay the who growth chart and iap growth chart are there in the vaccines and in general other growth and development charts this is the intra uterine growth chart okay okay i'll move further so this classification of neonates is based on the birth weight and gestational age together number one number two i'm gonna plot two marker here i'm gonna plot two arrow here please in your book also try to do that and in one i am writing 10th centile <coughs> and in one i am writing 90th centile listen to me very carefully once you listen to me properly this we are going to cover five questions right now here please remember if weight for age if any babies weight for age is below the 90 centile like this over here this baby is known as sga sga what is sga anyone small for gestational age small for gestational age okay like for example let's let's give do an example very simple example okay for example there is a normal pregnancy this baby uh, there is a normal pregnancy like a term pregnancy and this baby is around 2.5 kg okay what is the normal weight of a newborn 
टू पॉइंट फाइव टू फोर के जी राइट अभी पढ़ा हमने टर्म प्रेगनेंसी वट इज टर्म प्रेगनेंसी थर्टी सेवन टू फोर्टी वन कंप्लीटेड वीक्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर इज अ टर्म प्रेगनेंसी थर्टी सेवन वीक ओके एंड द बेबी इज अराउंड टू पॉइंट फाइव के जी विच इज अ नॉर्मल फॉर द बेबी राइट सो इफ आई ड्रॉ अ स्ट्रेट लाइन फ्रॉम टू पॉइंट फाइव एंड इफ आई ड्रॉ अ स्ट्रेट लाइन फ्रॉम थर्टी सेवन कैन वी एप्रीशिएट दैट दिस इज कमिंग बिटवीन वट दिस इज कमिंग बिटवीन द टेंथ एंड नाइनटी एथ सेंटाइल येस और नो आर यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस मच अ टू पॉइंट फाइव के जी बेबी हु वॉज अ टर्म बेबी वन साई पुट दैट दैट इन टू द ग्राफ इज कमिंग बिटवीन द टेंथ एंड नाइनटी एथ इट इज कमिंग बिटवीन दिस राइट बिटवीन द टेंथ एंड नाइनटी एथ सेंटाइल सो विच इज नॉर्मल राइट विच इज नॉर्मल अ टर्म बेबी शुड बी अराउंड टू पॉइंट फाइव के जी और टू पॉइंट सेवन के जी और थ्री के जी इट इज नॉर्मल ऑल्सो राइट सो दिस इज नोन एज ए जी ए दिस इज नोन एज AGA. What is AGA, sir? Appropriate for <coughs> appropriate for gestational age. Appropriate for gestational age. Three words we are able. We need to understand something known as small for gestational age, appropriate for gestational age, and large large for gestational age. So please remember. any baby who is coming between the 10th and 90th centile is known as appropriate for gestational age or if i want to say like i will say wait for age wait for age between the 10th and 90th centile is known as aga or known as appropriate for gestational age yes or no am i making sense to you yes or no this is a exam question this is proper exam question that aga is defined as what sir aga is appropriate for gestational age it is defined as what it is defined as wait for age between the 10th and 90th centile did you understand this much please put a message in the comment section yes or no and also if i you know yes very good so if i put a graph here i'll show you one very beautiful this one now see this very carefully see this everyone it's a proper uh, beautiful graph this side we have the weight of the baby 1 kg 2 kg 4 kg 5 kg and this side we have the age of the baby 34 weeker 36 weeker 40 weeker 44 weeker and can we see this 90th centile and can we see the 10th centile so any baby falling into this part is known as appropriate for gestational age and if the baby is below the 10th centile or if i say wait for age less than 10th centile is known as small for gestational age sga like for example there is a term pregnancy 37 week a term pregnancy normally that baby should be around 2.5 to 4 kg just imagine that this baby is nothing but only 1.5 kg this baby is 1.5 kg so if i put a straight line on 1.5 and again from 37 week if i go up if i put a center mark here so can we appreciate that this is below the 10th centile yes or no so wait for age is below the 10th centile normally term pregnancy a baby should be 2.5 kg 3 kg 3.5 kg but this baby is only 1.5 kg itna chota bachcha kaise ho sakta hai how come a 37 weeker full pregnancy baby is only 1.5 kg so can't you see that this baby is small for the gestational age and that is a neat pg question proper thing is wait for age less than 10 centile is small for gestational age and last but not the least something known as lga can you see this sga aga and lga so again wait for age below above above the 90th centile above the 90th centile is known as anyone is known as large for gestational age is known as large for gestational age okay this is the three important definitions which we must understand and there has been a proper proper questions on these okay that is what you need to know so that finishes the classification of new units the classification of new units was based on the gestational age 
that we covered preterm term and term based on the birth weight which we covered low birth weight very low birth weight extremely low birth weight right and now gestational age and birth weight together which we covered something known as very important sga aga and lga okay are you understanding so that's it let's revise again what all we have covered in today's class in today's class first we understood that we need to take risk we need to do mistakes because if we win we can lead if we lose we can guide our friend that yeah my this question was <clears throat> wrong <coughs> so you don't do this mistake okay <clears throat> sorry i don't have a water with me that's why i'm coughing <coughs> Hmm. Okay, then we covered something known as basic neonate, early neonate, late neonate. Then we covered the basic adolescent period, and early adolescent period has been a exam question. Then also we covered something known as most commonest cause of neonatal mortality in India, where we understood. that complications of prematurity is the best answer okay then what all we revised yeah this is very important we revised the <coughs> hierarchy wise the causes of mortality in india complications of prematurity then we have the systemic infections and then we have the perinatal asphyxia we also understood that asphyxia asphyxia baby not cried asphyxia cause could be cord around the neck cause could be meconium aspiration syndrome cause could be prematurity then also we covered again we saw a very beautiful quote that if if you cannot do great things then do small things in great way these these motivation quotes are uh, very important okay like these are these are everything motivation is the key in life if you want to succeed okay and also then we covered the classification of neonates we covered very wonderfully uh, gestationalist birth weight and third classification and we also covered something known as <coughs> something known as <coughs> known as sga aga and lga that was all about today's class in next class day after tomorrow we're going to talk about other various important syndromes i'll be sharing you lot of pictures this will be second neonatology part 2 and which will be there day after tomorrow in the special class in the app this segment is finished for today and before leaving again we have the amazing quote which quote says there is no shortcut to success there is no shortcut to success we all have taken the stairs there is no shortcut if you guys are thinking that i'll just do the mcus and i'll pass off and i will leave the short subjects i will do the major subjects or i will do that faculty notes i will only write watch the see the notes and finish it off no it's not like that so datta says will you cover the whole pediatrics yes i'll be covering the whole pediatrics in youtube plus in the special class one class on youtube one class on special class this is the first class part 1 which is on the youtube the second class is the special class again which is free which is there on the unacademy app day after tomorrow morning i'll tell you the timings automatically you'll get a notification day after tomorrow morning i have a class like around noon time in the special class the full pediatrics we going to finish so before going there is no shortcut to success we all have taken the stairs please my friends there is no shortcut you have to work hard you have to work hard you have to do a lot of mcqs you have to make notes you have to listen to me update your notes update your notes do a lot of mcqs you have to really work hard you know there is no shortcut to reach this platform i have worked really hard in my life so there is no shortcut there is no shortcut to success we all have taken the stairs we all have worked hard and that only that that only will give you the right fruit so there is no shortcut to success we all have taken the stairs thank you so much thank you so much for watching this Uh, this uh, webinar and this amazing video if you liked it like if you like it then please put a like button and share and subscribe and uh, thank you so much thank you so much please take care and uh, have a wonderful you know evening at bye bye